All right, so first, you can have a lot of versatility with your tempo in the songs Dangerous, Pop Your Shit, and Niagara Falls, all songs produced by Metro that had 21 Savage on it. All the tempos were like very different. So you can choose to whatever you think is gonna be best for you. So you can either start from scratch or with the sample. And if you've seen my previous videos, you know that I make a lot of my Metro tutorials from scratch. So today we're gonna be starting with a sample. I do not make a lot of sample videos at all. So this might be my weak point, we'll see. But here's the sample that I have. I'm just gonna pitch it up one. I really like that like dark and almost sorrowful vibe so i'm just gonna chop up whatever part i want to add and then we're gonna go on from there whenever you have a sample you're probably not going to be sampling this entire freaking five minute song so you just want to choose whatever part you want to include so that part all right so i have these two parts right here just the intro and then this like breakdown with the strings So once I have whatever parts I want chopped, then what I'll do is I'll consolidate them. Let's raise both of these up 100 cents. Hold up, yo. see often in metro's beats is that he'll have like the intro part of the sample or like the actual sample playing the beginning and then it goes into a switch up where he'll like have a certain chop that he has play over and over again so you want to keep in mind like what the intro is going to be like you already want to start to think about the layout and the future of what this beat's going to look like what we can do is we can like bring this into something like slice x which is probably going to be the most common we'll just put markers right over here pretty much going the whole way we'll do Control a and then go here and then D-click in all regions and then D-click out all regions. Oh, hold up. I like that. Quick render the pattern. Then we have our full chop right here. Then we'll edit this in Slice X. So marker's gonna be all the way over here. render that as an audio clip take this move it up here get rid of that so now that we have our complete sample chopped down now we want to add on to the melodies and we pretty much just want to keep it simple we just want to add into the frequencies that aren't being filled in yet could be hard hold on I want to go to X Ben I want to try and add a brass I just want to see what it's going to sound like I usually like to go up fifths with brasses so this might sound good I 
like the tubular bell, but I want something a little more unique than just, you know, the regular tubular bell that you hear in every single beat now. I'm going to go to these tubular bells in this VST Piano Tech 7. Then I'm just going to route this to a channel. We'll go to some fruity delay. Cut a little bit of that low end from the piano. So with Metro's drums, he stays pretty simple. So the drums should be pretty easy. First thing that you want to do is start off with your clap or your snare. For this, I'm going to use a snare. And you just want to start off with that because that's the same pretty much every single time. Your snare pattern or your claps patterns, they're just going to be the same. I'm going to go to my Illuminate kit and see if I can find any snares from here. have this hit but I want this part to be faded out twice okay so once you have your snares down then you want to come in with your kick my illuminate kit and then go to a midi uh, hi-hat midi see what i can find in here go to my illuminate kit and grab a 808 from here on this one patterns i took out that hi-hat switch up so now we'll just have the 808 switch up now here is our full drum pattern all right so for the layout we pretty much have it laid out already i mean we have the intro and then we have this going in the chop sample with the drums then we have our other chop sample over here which is like a secondary melody this is going to be the hook this is going to be the verse and then you just alternate sounds i've talked about this before taking out sounds adding sounds not keeping it so stagnant and just keeping it moving but all i have to do now is i'm just going to mix this and then lay it out to exactly how i want it and you guys will be able to listen to the full beat let me know down in the comments what you guys rate this beat one through ten what i could improve on what you guys liked about this if you 
guys like making trap beats and want to level up your production in 2024, then check out my Illuminate kit. I just dropped it and so far so many people have been loving it. The link is in the description to go preview some of the sounds and just go check it out. But that wraps it up for me, y'all. I will catch you guys in the next video, but until then, I'm out.